Hello, this is Jen from internetlessons.com. I'm going to show you how to incorporate WordPress in an iframe on WebPlus X4. So what I've done is I've created myself a blank page and this is where I'm going to put my iframe. Before I insert the iframe, we need to just check the path of the blog that I've installed. Now I installed my um, WordPress using my web host, which is HostGator because through their C panel or their control panel um, you can install WordPress through there and it also configures databases and everything like that for you automatically which makes life an awful lot easier. I have done it manually um, but configuring the databases can sometimes be a bit of a headache so I really recommend you use a host with a C panel where possible. So basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and check the location of my blog I know I do know where it's installed, but I want to show you this because it's very useful anyway. I use a program called FileZilla. And if you haven't got it installed, what I would recommend you do is go to a website called filehippo.com. And here you can get loads of free software or free trial software. It's easy to download, it's all in one place. It's an absolute lifesaver, this website. So if you type in FileZilla, it brings you to the download page or it gives you the research the oh gives you the search results and you just download it download FileZilla really easy okay back to FileZilla I'm gonna open up FileZilla and what you can do with FileZilla is it's basically um, a little program that helps you transfer files um, to your web host and back again so you can move files backwards and forwards just like you would on your computer really what you need to do is go into the file menu and go to the site manager and here you can set up the details um, your FTT basically details so that um, it will talk to your web host and this information you will have to give your web host so I've got my FTT, FTP information is internetlessons.com I've got my username I've got my password so all I need to do then is click connect and as you can see it's now connecting to my host this information down the left hand side is what's on my computer this information in these two boxes are basically my web host so this is the main folder or directory and you can see lots of different folders and or directories and the one I'm interested in is the public HTML because that's where my blog is and as you can see this well there's two blogs here there's blog and blog two but it's blog that I'm interested in because that's my already established blog so I now know that it's on my root directory so it's going to be internetlessons.com forward slash blog that is the location of my blog so that's what we need to put in the iframe so back to my serif page you go to insert web object and down to framed document draw your frame by clicking and dragging then let go it brings open sort of the dialog box now it's going to be an internet page not a site page as you might think is an internet page so you type in here internetlessons.com forward slash blog now don't put dot html after this because it's not actually a web page we're linking to it's actually a directory we're linking to so if you put dot html it won't work and then put ok so now when i preview this page um, using internet explorer or whatever uh, mozilla you will see my established block appear in this frame so i've got a file and preview site I'm, no, I'll preview the page and you'll see it appear. It takes a minute or two because of to sort of load up and then you'll be able to see it. So this is my outline of my iframe here and there you go, there is my blog appearing in my iframe. It's easy as that. Okay, so if you're um, interested in other tutorials like this one, hop over to internetlessons.com because we've got loads of free um, tutorials available to you. All you need to do is um, go to our front page and opt in and then that will take you through to where all the videos are. I hope this has been useful and thanks for watching.